the show that magicians around the globe don't want you to see. The Masked Magician is back, out of hiding, daring to expose the world's most highly guarded secrets. You'll find out how they perform amazing appearances, death-defying escapes, baffling levitations, astounding vanishes, mind-blowing sleight of hand, and impossible illusions. No magician is too famous. No trick too big. No secret too sacred. The magician's code will be forever broken. On magic's biggest secrets finally revealed. Tonight, the masked magician pulls back the curtain and exposes the secrets to making a gorgeous girl vanish in a giant game of three-card Monty. Creating a beautiful woman from a cloud of smoke, then dividing her in three and putting her head over heels. Plus, find out how a famous street magician walked on water while surrounded by witnesses. And much more, right now on Magic's Biggest Secrets Finally Revealed. First up tonight, the magician will play a giant game of the old street hustle, Three Card Money. If you've been fooled by this con game before, wait till you see this grand version. He's got these three tall stools, big cards, and instead of a regular queen of hearts, he'll use this lovely princess. Let's see if he's the king, an ace, or the joker. He asks the girl to stand atop the center stool. Helping him with the cards are two more members of his harem. They send hearts fluttering too. The magician places one of the large cards in front of the girl, hanging it from the proscenium arch of the small stage. Now for another card. This one will hang to the right of center, above the empty stool. Now for the third and final card. This one hangs in front of the empty stool that's to the left of center. Three stools, three cards, and one girl standing behind the card in the center. Right about now, a street hustler would tell you to follow the lady, so let's do. The magician removes the center card to reveal the girl, but she's gone. We must have been mistaken. I bet she's behind one of the other cards. The magician replaces the center card, and he seems as baffled as we are. Let's go to the right. He moves this one, and she's not there either. I guess we were mistaken. Well, there's only one other place to look. He heads to the far left. She's not there. So he removes this card from the equation. Next, the card on the right side goes away, leaving only the one in the center. There's no question that the girl must be here. Well, so much for that theory. She's gone. Completely vanished. 
I guess spending a magical evening with her just wasn't in the cards. So, how did the magician use a life-size game of three-card money to make his assistant disappear? Here are the secrets. The first one is hidden behind this large proscenium arch. From the back, we can see that concealed behind the support truss is a steel track, complete with a sturdy handle. When the illusion begins, the magician hides his assistant with the first card, then hangs two more. As soon as all cards are in place, the assistant reaches up and grabs the handle. The handle is attached to a roller that smoothly glides inside the track. When the audience sees the magician move the first card to reveal the assistant has vanished, she's actually using the card to hide her movement on the track, from the center stool to a position behind the card next door. The handle and track allow her to secretly travel from stool to stool behind the cards without her feet being visible below. The magician is free to show behind the card on the far right because the girl is hidden behind the card on the left. The magician now draws our attention to that final card on the left side where the girl is hiding. But where is she? From behind, we see that she is using the movement of this card to conceal her path behind both cards to a hidden position off stage. Nicely done. And she sticks the landing. Now the magician removes the remaining cards using the same movements so as not to tip his hand. And now you know the secrets to cheating at this giant game of three card money. Next, the magician has a mystical and magical twist on an experiment you might remember from science class. This one uses a large plastic drinking glass. As we can see, it's empty. So far, but not for long. The magician plunges the glass into the bucket of water and fills it. Well, it's more than half full and less than half empty for those of you who care. Watch. He takes a piece of ordinary cardboard and places it over the mouth of the glass. Next, he turns the glass upside down. Some of the water spills out, but the cardboard seems to be holding the water inside the glass. I remember this. Something to do with a vacuum. Bet he can't take the cardboard away. A little magic. Uh, he can take the cardboard away. And the water stays inside the glass. Now that's a good trick. Watch again. The count of three, and the water is released from its magic spell. Nice trick, Mass Man. Makes me wish I paid more attention in school. So, how did the magician turn a classic science experiment into a magic trick that defies the laws of physics? Here are the secrets. When the illusion begins, the magician shows us what appears to be an ordinary glass. It's not. But it's real water, so don't try this at home. The first secret is that the glass has a small hole that has been drilled in one side near the bottom. See? When the magician fills the glass with water, he must be careful to keep this hole covered. Without his finger in place, the water comes pouring out. That's scientific fact number one. A finger can plug up a leak. Next, he places the piece of cardboard over the mouth of the glass, then demonstrates how a vacuum works. When he inverts the glass, the water stays in place because the air in the glass cannot escape. The cardboard is stuck in place by suction. The next secret is hidden behind the piece of cardboard. 
there is a clear plastic lid concealed on the back side. This lid precisely fits over the mouth of the glass. See? It fits right into place, just like at a drive through When the audience thinks that the cardboard alone is holding the water inside the glass, it's actually the clear plastic lid that is held in place by the suction. Here we see it without the cardboard. The vacuum created by the trapped air keeps the lid in place, as long as the magician keeps his finger over the tiny hole. Watch as he's able to count down to the exact moment the water rushes out. All he's really doing is releasing his finger from the hole and allowing air to rush into the glass and break the vacuum. Watch again in slow motion and you can actually see the clear lid as it falls. Physics combined with trickery. And now you know the secrets. Up next, the secrets to making a beautiful woman appear from nowhere. Find out how the magician walks on water in a pool surrounded by witnesses. Next, the magician's gorgeous dancing girls will get us in the mood for a classic illusion. I'm not sure what this has to do with the trick, but I don't exactly care. The throne, however, is definitely center stage for good reason. The magician has entered, by the way, ready to do his magic thing. He makes sure we get a good look at the empty throne, but I'd rather the girls kept dancing. While we check them out, he checks out all sides of the throne. It's still empty. He does some conjuring as the assistants raise a sheet in front of the throne. Some magic, poof, and another girl appears, seated in the previously empty throne. What a princess. And she arrived in a flash. So how did the magician make his beautiful assistant appear in a flash? Here are the secrets. The first one is right in front of us. On closer inspection, the throne is much larger than it appears. It's actually deep enough to conceal the girl. It's also a chair within a chair, with the inner chair built on a track that slides all the way back into the throne. With the seat slid back, there's ample space for the assistant to hide inside the throne. Before the trick begins, the assistant sits down and slides the seat back into the throne. She hides her legs in the spaces along the sides. A stagehand gives her a cloth-covered form, which she uses to cover her lap and simulate the seat cushion. She carefully arranges the cloth and flips in some ornate panels. Then she reaches up and pulls down a roller shade to complete her hiding place. At the start of the trick, the assistant in the center is merely pretending to be seated keeping her weight on her legs and the arms of the throne. Oh my! The sheet is raised and the hidden assistant raises the roller shade and ditches the fake cushion behind her before sliding the seat forward. When the flash pot explodes and the sheet drops, she's revealed, apparently from thin air. But you know the secrets. Next, the magician has a popular illusion that has stunned millions. Here's his assistant. She's a stunner, too. He tells the girl that her hand will have a starring part in this miniature guillotine. The blade of this contraption is razor-sharp steel. He places her hand through a hole in the device. She'd better wave bye-bye now. The way these things work, she won't be able to do it later. The blade goes into the top of the guillotine. There's still time to back out, but she's game. With her permission, he slams the blade down. She screams. Why wouldn't she? He's just sliced off her hand. Well, what did she think was going to happen? The magician takes the towel and reaches into the basket. He returns her hand. Too little, too late. Maybe some magic will make it all better. A little conjuring. And the hand is good as new. She forgives and forgets. Now forgive me if 